One challenge in the field of adipose biology has been to maintain mature adipocytin culture. We have developed a new method that allows the study of long-term adipocyte phenotypic changes. Our adipocyte co-culture technique allows the study of cell interactions and will hopefully be useful for the development of new treatments for diabetes and obesity. It is important to follow the protocol carefully, as there are some critical steps that greatly impact the yield, quality, and availability of the mature adipocytes. For example, before plating, make sure that all of the free lipid and wash buffer has been removed, otherwise the adipocytes could rip off when the inserts are inverted. After receiving the human subcutaneous adipose tissue sample, place the tissue in a sterile biological safety cabinet in a 15 centimeter petri dish and a small volume of medium 199 to the dish. Use tweezers to grasp large fibrotic vessels within the tissue and use the backside of the tip of a closed pair of scissors to gently scrape the adipose along the vessel to release the adipocytes. When all of the cells have been collected, Discard the large pieces of fibrotic tissue and weigh the trimmed fat. To further release the cells from the fat tissue, transfer 10 grams of adipose tissue into a new 15 centimeter petri dish and use curved scissors to carefully mince the fat until it becomes a smooth homogeneous mixture with no large pieces of adipose. When all of the fat has been processed, Use a spoon to transfer 10 milliliters of minced tissue into individual 50 milliliter tubes. And add 30 milliliters.